Good afternoon everyone. This is Edwin Louie with Mars Hill Realty Group. We're standing inside of a park, but it's not just any park. This is uh, Fairfield Park in the village of Georgetown because we've got a house for sale here. 133 Fairfield Court. As you can see there are not many homes in front of this park and you've also got a great view from inside the home uh, of your park and actually what we're looking through is the master bedroom on the left and the family room on the right so the two most important rooms are getting the nice views of this park and I'm just gonna turn around here before we head inside so that we get a good glimpse from our front patio of what this view actually looks like and there you go your own personal park right in front of you all right, let's head inside and see what else this house has. All right, here's our patio, and you can see that it's, uh, you know, it's it's in a great position for your view here. We're gonna walk through this red door, and we're gonna it leads us right into the living room. And nice high ceilings here. It's a very open, very bright room, and uh, I'm just gonna turn around over here because I want you to see the windows that point out to the park. As you can see here. This living room is open to the kitchen. There's even got like a bar area right here. Um, nice kitchen island. The uh, the home, the paint, the carpet, the floor, everything is in really good condition. Um, as you can see, here's here's our kitchen island with all the cabinets. So you've got nice storage here with the stainless steel appliances. Um, the backsplash tile there, and even even has the cabinets for your show off china through the glass there um, this takes us into our breakfast area and the breakfast area is nice and it's nice and big this is a four or a six person table and there's still plenty of room right here so you've got a lot of room in this kitchen and this breakfast area and the four windows that make it nice and bright out to the back which we'll go out in a minute um, and it's also got the, uh, like I said, the counter area right there for additional seating. We've got a pantry right here, um, stairs, and utility room. What we didn't do is go to the master, which is up front. And uh, so let's go there real quick. All right, so uh, we've got the kitchen on our right, right there. And we've got our bathroom, half bathroom here, coat closet there. And we go into our master bedroom. You can see the master bedroom is pretty big. It's got the uh, the high ceilings again, with the fan. Um, nice view to the park through those two windows. And behind us is our master bathroom, where we have a separate shower with tile. And then we have the separate tub there. Um, double vanity here, and the toilet is here. We're gonna step into this master closet in the back. And we're actually going to do a little tour here because it's so big. So I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to, we've got more space for your clothes here. And all the way to the back. So it's a pretty big closet. You're probably wondering what this door is right here. Well, let's check it out. Kind of like a closet within a closet. So this is one of those closets that you typically see under... The stairwell, which is above us, um, but it just happens to connect to the master closet, which is really neat if you need more space for your stuff. Yeah, look, we got another door. It looks like, I feel like Alice in Wonderland. Uh, you'll notice that this door has a key lock on it. And we're going to go outside, and you can lock it because it goes to the utility room in the back of the house. So, typically, you see these in the newer homes. Um, you don't see these much in a home that has that's already been built. But it is nice to have some extra room and storage. Um, and it's nice to have access to the utility room. Put all your dirty clothes and dirty laundry when, when people are being entertained out there. And I'm going to turn around so you can get a good full view of the utility room. It's pretty big. You've got the washer dryer in there. 
and you've got space for a sink or refrigerator right there and lots of shelving on the walls that you can put up. Alright, so now we're going to head upstairs and then check out the back of the house too. Alright, now we're at the top of the stairs where we have two bedrooms and a full bathroom plus a little game room here and attic storage up there but let's walk into these big bedrooms. So here you go, here's one bedroom got the uh, walk-in closet here this is the second of three bedrooms and then we're going to walk to the third bedroom let's go into the, let's check out this bathroom real quick there you go and then this third bedroom is quite a bit larger as you can see nice window out to the back um, all the rooms have fans in them and here's your walk-in closet for this room a little bit bigger too. And again, this goes back out to uh, the game room. They put some shelving there. Here's your game room. All right, let's head back down and go to the back of the house. All right, so we're gonna step out of the back of this house and uh, there's our detached garage, our patio here. It's not covered. Um, and our backyard through here. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized yard. Um, and there's a driveway behind that fence. This is a stairway that goes up to um, that storage area above the garage. And here's the side. And maybe we'll go to the other side real quick. There we go, and there's the park in front of us. Um, let's take a peek into this garage. Standard two car garage. And now let's go above the garage, up these stairs. And into our storage area. Get a feel for how big it is in here. Um, you definitely could put a, you know, a, a guest accommodations in here. Um, a media room, an office, a game room. The ceilings get about, you know, five feet right here. Um, they peak about, I don't know, seven feet to eight feet in the middle here. Just to get a good feel for how big it is, just walk through it all. I've used it for some storage right now. Uh, and that really concludes the end of the tour. Uh, this is our view from up top as we go back down. Uh, if you need some more information or you have questions, feel free to visit us online. And let me know if you have any questions or would like to see it. Thanks. Thanks, guys.